welcome back now in this lecture we will test the api to send an image or a pdf document through the api so many times in businesses we need to send the images or the invoice copy through pdf etc so for this in this cloud api under messages you can see the send image by message id in this case we require a message id like first we have to upload the image through the facebook api then that return a message id it's a different thing what i'm covering here send image by a url so in this case we must have a url which is pointing to the particular image and same for the document okay this is a preferred method like where to store the images and the document on a server and that link to be publicly accessible it should not have any kind of authentication encryption nothing a simple plain secure web url be required to test the images and the document for document also here you can see by id and by url so both the send image and send document by url will test here so i will expand this post method okay so this time like every time i'm just uh, copying the previous one now i will create a new one so this is our collection add a new request select the post go back here this is the url url we can use the same one give the name here like send image by url okay save this go back let me copy this this time we'll do completely uh, manual without copying so we should know in real time how this work so here we have to add the version so which version we are using so our api version here is come down like v 2.0 okay copy this zero okay here like you can remove this completely and we'll add manually here the same way okay then we have to enter the phone id phone number id this is the phone number id okay i copied this and here we'll enter the phone number id i am removing the variable environment variable i removed and i added here okay this is the phone number now go to authorization here select barrier token now my previous one might have expired so i will create a new one so generate the access token again sometime it get expire soon reconnect so this generated a new temporary access token i copied that and i'm entering here okay go to header again like content type application slash json the content type here application slash json let me copy from here the header application slash json okay now in the body in the body if you see here here we have to enter the image link complete url be required here first i'll copy the body and here raw json add that remove this and replace with the phone number this one i will remove i will replace with the phone number okay and here we have to enter the image link so i created a image on one website you can also try that okay so if i enter this url here you can see this image okay so like this we should have public url publicly accessible url so i will just add the url here yeah before this i have forgot to open my whatsapp here so let me just open my whatsapp here okay so everything is done authorization is done header is done okay body is done okay 
and the endpoint URL. Let me just open the WhatsApp on the screen and we'll continue. So I open my WhatsApp here. So now what I will do here, we've done everything, just save and send the message. Once we send, here you can see success. Okay. And the message ID is generated. Go to WhatsApp, see. As soon as we send the message from there, here I receive the same image. So like this many times we need to send the product images at all. So this very simple method we can use. It is very easy to use once you know the concept. So next I'll just copy this URL as it is. I'll make a duplicate. Okay, and this time I will send here document document by url okay so for the document again the body will get changed come down and see here like send document by url see there are so many uh, apis out there so based on your requirement you decide which one you want to use okay so this is the body for a document as we know the endpoint url is same for all the apis even the authorization and header only the body gets changed every time. Okay, so I will copy this body here for document and now I will send a PDF document here. So the image is done, we have seen that. Okay, so again here I will add first in two, I will add a number. You have to add while number with the country code and only change here is document yeah and link and all caption is also there okay so now i have one more here like uh, web url this is freely available okay i also don't have the dedicated server for this so i just google to chat gpt and i found this url i tried first with the google drive okay remember google drive link doesn't work even if you enable like anyone can access but this doesn't work in the whatsapp okay that's why i was looking for some other so I found one. So if I enter this URL here, here we can see the PDF document will get generated. So first I enter the image and now I will show the document, PDF document, okay? So like this, the same file will get open. So I will copy that e URL here. And here I will give the caption. Let's say invoice number Ash one, two, three, four, five, six. And one more thing here, I will show you. Like to add the bold letters here, it is, I think we have to add a star mark, a strike here. Let's see whether it is coming in bold or not. Or first, I will just copy as it is. We'll trigger two times. We'll trigger this two times. Okay, save. So here, the messaging product WhatsApp will fix the recipient individual. We actually need to individual to and document okay save and send so this should send the invoice see here we got a 200 success okay so go to whatsapp see i received this document untitled but here you can see the invoice number if i click this the same document should get open which has shown okay see the invoice number one two three four five six test file okay now let me show you one thing here it is like a normal letter like so to make it bold, we just need to add here a star mark before and till we want. Okay, let's see how this will come this time. Again, if I send the same file, the 200, one more message, see. This time we can see the text in the bold letter. Okay, we can see the text in the bold letter. So like this, we're done with the session of sending image and the PDF document through WhatsApp Cloud API. And based on your requirement, you can explore the other APIs. It is very simple. Okay, just check the body. And for the complete documentation of all the APIs here, you have to click on this first main node, WhatsApp Cloud API. And here you can go through the complete documentation. Okay, to get more details, click here, view complete documentation. Okay, on the left side, you will get the link and you can directly jump to the respective one. 
suppose here I want to send, uh, I want to go to the text message, first one which we tested. So this will give the complete documentation of that. Like post, this is the URL. Okay, to send a text message, make a post call. Okay, everything complete, complete authorization barrier. Everything will get here. Okay, just go through this documentation. Okay, okay, in case of any query. Otherwise, I covered like template message, text message, text with URL preview, then the image, and now we have all also seen the PDF document. Okay, thank you.